Hey everybody and welcome back to the YouTube channel today, Dylan's Vlog. Today I'm going to be doing another how-to video and this is going to be the how to build the HM Tech Baby High Chair with double removable tray. So uh comes with an instruction manual. I always take everything out of the box and lay it all out. So first off thing you want to do is lay everything out, see what you got, take off all the wrap, get rid of that cardboard. So I was looking at these and uh, it does come with an Allen key. This Allen key came with it. So you have the tool you need. Um, these, if I'm right, you're going to need a screwdriver Phillips head to put those in. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Um, yeah. So it looks nice, looks simple. Four of these, five of these, four of these, four of these feet, four of these, two steps, and all your legs. And all this looks kind of similar, but don't worry, I got a trick for you. So let me show you the first step. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is find this piece with the D, and I think that's supposed to be a C, but uh, yeah. So you're going to connect that to the long piece that also has the D inside. So D, D, put them like that, and it will be connected like this. I have to show you how to do this because it's kind of confusing on the instructions. So, if you take this piece, you see this hole right here, you're gonna wanna take this little guy with the threads in the middle and put it into that slot just like that. Then, you have to use a Phillips to adjust to where you can see those threads in the, through this hole. It's very hard to see on camera. Probably impossible. So then, I take that, put it to the D, and thread your screw in, which, Boom, bada, bang. Got that going in. Then a little bit of this. Just to finish her off. Okay. We want to make sure everything's nice and tight on this because this will be holding. This one's going to be holding my baby, but yours is going to be probably holding some precious cargo of your own. Okay, so once I got that nice and snug, this is what we got working with right here. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and find C to match up with this one. B, C. So here is C. I'm going to have to do the same thing. So, drop my washer, or threaded thing into there, look down the hole here, and boom, boom, got it lined up, put this on there, and thread in another bolt. So you're going to do the exact same thing on the other piece, which is this piece here that has A and B, and then we'll go from there. Quick thing, I have to show you this. So I previously had attached them, these right, to where it says uh, C on this one, C on this one, A on this one, A on this one. The factory sent, labeled those wrong, because as you can see, I have holes here for stairs and not there, and not here, and not here, and there's holes here for stairs. These have to be swapped. So my A and C were labeled wrong, and I'll show you how I figured that was just by seeing the holes not lined up. But so as you can see, see here, see here. But if I switch these short legs and put A on C, A on C here, then I will have my holes and holes, which is what you have to have to put the stairs on. 
So make sure yours might not be like that, but if it is, this is how you fix it. Okay, so now you have these two pieces, just like that. They are just gonna cross like that right there. Boom, boom. Take one of your smaller, shorter screws. Go ahead and run one right through the middle here. And the Allen key will fit on it also. And tighten that down. And that gives us our base frame for this project you're already almost done it's all easy from here right okay so once you get that one in i'm gonna go ahead and say let's knock this out and uh screw these feet in which at the end you could use once you put this down you can use it to level it if it's a little wobbly you can loosen up one of these and then uh kind of fill the gap if you have unlevel surfaces, you don't want that baby unlevel. Take care of that baby. So we'll get these feet in here, nice and easy. Boom. So we got feet, we got the crossbars, we got that. Now let's see what's next. All right, so after you have these all connected correctly, like this, you take these stairs, and input that side and force in the next side so like so boom and then they come with these knobs you go under and you will screw that in to the wood nice and tight other side nice and tight and repeat for the bottom step okay so now the once you have these on then we are ready to attach those threaded holes in here so we'll, I'm gonna line it up and then I'm gonna go underneath and screw it in with these four remaining. So in this video, you've noticed I've done the tall one. When it says it grows with the kid, it comes with these long legs or these short legs. These are the short legs. You could repeat the process by just doing the same thing. You're gonna put these longer ones on the back and the shorter ones on the front with All right, so here's the finished product. After you attach those four screws to the bottom, nice and snug, just slide this tray on. Um, this one is the one with the removable tray. So it's got one and then another. I don't know what for. Mom's probably know stuff like that and dad's probably know how to build stuff like this. But there's probably some moms that know how to build stuff like this and some dads that know what this is for also. So if you like this video, like and subscribe. You can't leave a comment because all my videos that I post nowadays are for kids.